Hey guys, welcome back to Trains. We are in the factory area. We've been in a wall, which I, right now, I don't really like this wall. I think it should be a lot more chunky wall, so I, I think they'll come out. And I don't like the fact that it's floating as well. Obviously, I didn't then as well, which is why I started messing about with it. Yeah, I think I should put something a lot larger in, then you can actually get away with this. Lower it down and no one notices. Yeah, that's got to be moved, doesn't it? Looks weird. So what do I choose from this one then? Again, it's a rather small. I'd, I'd, it, yeah, I could just use that and then load it down. I quite like that one. Recorded this such a, so long ago, I just have no idea what I actually used. Now I know why I moved that across though. Because this one's got all these big doors on the side of there, so trucks would technically go be going in there. Yeah, nice big wall. Not retaining more anything than this one. Hmm, is that my solution? Yeah. Okay. Now all this gets done now, by the end of this episode, well the, the basics of it does anyway. More details have got going, I, I don't like it too bare. Not in the area you want to spend quite a bit of time at the main train station. The first part of this build would be, you know, fairly bare and we just keep, because you're just travelling past and there's no point, you know, some, some, of, some of the countryside bits for instance. But if you're going to be there quite a while then you'll be looking round and uh, I think more details should be put in. Ah, I can see a fence between there and the uh, track. That's what I can see. That was a good idea using that road, but it's got a path on it, so you can't actually add a junction. So I've just worked that one out. This is a, like a concrete road, so yeah, they use those. Then, so we kind of use that. Now what am I going to use then? I'm trying to decide, I think. Hmm. Even adding the, uh, the roads in here makes it feel a lot better. As you can see, I've started to paint some of it. It needs a lot more paint by now. Yeah doing. I think we can find some crates and things which will go next to the uh, the platform. We can sort of just dump them there. <laughs> yes, as you can see in the factory, I've already painted that. I think I must have done that off camera. But again, we will be doing a lot more, so it doesn't matter. it lower that down a bit. In between the filming, I, what I generally do is to try and find new assets. Now, I don't want to go that far really because there's a towpath. I think we'll have to cover it off with something. Now, I've got to decide what bridge to use. We're going to use this one, are we? It's going to plonk it under the road. I think we are. Yes. Doesn't look too bad. But I don't like the fact the road, the route, the road. Yes, the round. The road is uh, rounded slightly on the bridge. Am I now opting to move that one? I don't know. Find out in a second. What are we putting up here? Ah, yes, we do put another bridge up this side. That's it. We need to raise up a bit, though. 
Otherwise, we can't get boats underneath it. So we will be having some canal boats going up and down here. Use the uh, track method to do that if you haven't seen the uh, previous videos. I'm not entirely sure why I was putting people. Oh, I know why. Let's see if uh, proportionally how high is it compared to the uh, the lady. So we want to get it so uh, I've done a bit. Of course, we want to connect the road to it. There will be a road just along here, this this bit as well, this edge here. So we do keep the original bridge. I prefer that one. It's got the brick on it. So this is our solution, is it? That's okay. Connects up at least. But the road's uh, rather floatier there, and I don't like that. So I have to come down a bit. Now we can move those assets, and they're just just plonked there while I'm actually uh, waiting to put this up, this other stuff in. I don't want to put too many factories on that main road. I want more. I want them hidden to the back, really. That fits quite nicely there, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that, that square building's going to go in there to see the other one. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Does that stay there? Might do. I think we do. Yeah, we do have to move the road a little bit. Now, I just need to actually put some uh, more buildings this side now, and that road I told you about. Road, I think, goes straight to the edge. See, even without any details, really, it sort of looks a lot better. It looks more like a city now. Along this road, I prefer to keep the uh, the shops and things, and we're. May go to residential, maybe even office down that road. Yep, yeah, can we fit it? No, we can't. So it's going to have to go over here. I think that's where we end up putting it. Once again, it's sort of floaty on the hill, though. I don't see anything. We always move that road. I think we do. We do. There you go. Let's see, the sort of factory blocks and things. That's quite nice. We use that one. It's a very old, sort of uh, nasty-looking block. Actually, that could be a residential block as well, either way, really. Yeah, put a road on it's probably a good idea. You can finally see what it looks like. We have to cheat our way through the, uh, the path there. Looks more like it's a grey road, so it looks more concrete here. And you might have that uh, in our factory areas. Come on, raise up then. Small spline points in.
Ooh, yes. Come on, lower it down a bit then. That's it, that's better. Now, do we continue that road across? I can't actually remember. We certainly continue up this way. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, what a road. That's it, and that one's now above it again. <laughs> Every action you make has a consequence. Oh dear, yep, yeah, that was the uh, river, well, the, the canal nearly gone. Oh, that looks bad. Now, what was I looking for? So we're now going to paint this grey. All industrial. I think the, the brown of the uh, the towpath, though, I think we need to do something with that as well. I think I'm trying to match it in, aren't I, the brown? But uh, I'm not sure I like the brown, actually, looking at it right now. I think I prefer maybe putting something over the top of it. So when you're painting, always make sure you do multiple different colours. It looks more real that way. Oh, that's horrible. Well, what was I doing? It's just a f I'm trying to make it look old. I quite like that, actually. Perfect. Still trying to merge it in. Could always put bushes there or something, I suppose. There's no way these factories would have used the canal in the 60s. I think most canals actually were... It's before they started being used for tourism, so... They'd be quite murky places, but we're not going to do that. This is only sort of, it's pretend. So we're going to have uh, nice canal boats going up and down. But I think we will put some bushes and stuff in to hide them. Maybe we'll keep it brown. It's just doesn't look too bad the more I look at it now. Brown is mud, which is just uh, getting. So I just put a base coat on a lot of this. That's why I'm uh, highlighting it all now. Well, that's it. I said that most of it would be done, and uh, around that area, it, it looks. We just got to detail it now. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please press the like button. If you like to see more, please subscribe. And if you press the ding dong belly thing, it even tells you when I put stuff on. Cheers, guys. See you next time. Bye bye.